Hello, hello, welcome everyone. It's Marek Mulacic here and welcome to one more uh, tutorial on Adobe After Effects. Uh, this time we're going to have a look at creating uh, rainy scenes, which is very popular in many movies. So I've got this video here, which I'm going to use to make a new composition. There's no rain here at all, not yet, at least. But we're going to add some rain here, we'll make it rain. And this is going to be animated and also we're going to tweak it, we'll keyframe it, we'll animate it, we'll customize it, we'll make it say start raining for example. Uh, this is going to be similar to if you have seen the video on the snow as well. So with the layer, select, with the layer selected <laughs> we'll go to effect menu, simulation and CC rainfall. This is going to add some rain in here so if I just play this comp maybe bigger you see some rain coming in here, but we'll tweak it. Like for example, let's make it maybe start raining. So if there's a CTI at the beginning, we'll add a keyframe for number of drops and I'll drop it all the way down to zero here. We'll make it start raining after a moment. So if we move the CTI forward, I'll give it a few seconds, like maybe three and we'll increase number of raindrops to be quite a lot, let's say maybe about 10,000. I wouldn't do as many as with the snowflakes, we did it for the snow. So let's have a look at what 10,000 looks like in here. Want to keep it looking realistic, obviously. So there shouldn't be too many or way too many. We can do 10, maybe 15,000, but I wouldn't do more than that. Also, in this case, we probably wouldn't <coughs> excuse me, probably wouldn't uh, keyframe the size of the raindrops. So probably keep them smaller. But we can have a look just to see what this actually does. So if we make them bigger, so let's say if I double the size to six, and then if we preview it, it's going to look a bit more like this, a bit more like a, a tor torrential rain. <laughs> Uh, so maybe, maybe we could make them, maybe not six, but maybe five. So say, if we'll take it back to three, what a keyframe, say, maybe after this, the rain appears. Actually, let's see where we have our previous keyframes. So if we select the layer, press U to reveal the keyframes. So the raindrops increase between zero and three seconds. So let's say maybe at two and a half seconds, we can keyframe the size. Then back to the timeline, if we do U and U again, so you can see the new keyframes as well. I'm going to move the CTI towards the end, like say maybe four and a half seconds, and increase the size to maybe five. So let's have a look at this. Let's see what this is going to look like when it starts raining. And they also get in a little bit bigger, the actual raindrops. What's quite interesting about uh, this effect on this video as well in here, is it does look quite realistic partially because the effect looks really great and it's really popular but also because we have these waterfalls in here and there's some like water ripples on the water here which is from the original video which i think are coming from the waterfalls but it just makes it look more realistic also there's these leaves in the bottom left corner here and they move in as if this was caused by the rain falling down. But it's not, because, you know, these effects, like CC rainfall, they don't bounce off the surfaces. Okay. But, because they blend really nicely, it makes them look really realistic in here as well. Mm -hmm. With the CC rainfall, you can also keyframe the speed, so you can make it rain faster or more slowly. So say, if I change it from 4,000 to say 1,000, and if we preview it, it's going to be like this. Like a bit of a drizzle, for example. You can obviously keyframe it as well, but I'm going to leave it as it is. I'll just show you if we say increase it to maybe much more. So it's 4,000 by default. If I do like say 8,000, for example, and preview it in here, it's going to be like this. Probably a bit too much. You know? So I'm going to st stick to 4,000 for the speed, the default. Also got a wind, so if you adjust the wind, you can make it rain at an angle, not in a straight line. 
So it goes like this now. It's running towards, uh, slightly towards the bottom right corner for the positive value. If you do a negative value, it's going to rain towards the bottom left corner instead. Like this. <coughs> but I think I'll leave it as it is, because, especially in this case, I'll leave it at zero, because especially in this case, it looks more like a warmer climate and there would be no wind, especially not in the forest in here, so it should be zero in here as well. And these are the main options to look out for when you want to create this animated rain with a CC rainfall effect in here. <coughs> if you haven't already, have a look at the other video I did on animated snow as well, inside After Effects. And experiment, experiment with different videos and implement the effects in different videos to see what you can achieve in here. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I hope to see another video. So thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from MarekMularczyk.com and we'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.